Hi, how are you? It's Dr. Risa, the sexy sexologist, and I um, am saying hello on Self Care Sunday. I finally got on Instagram Live for you guys. It's been a few days. It's been a Memorial Weekend where I was expecting to hang out and relax and watch movies on Friday, and you know, I have friends who are Memorial Day finally can go out and party, and now I'm going out third night in a row. Ah! Oh. But I had a nice relaxing day and I wanted to come say hello. I got my makeup in here. I finished that and now I'm gonna get ready to go uh, out dancing to this club I've never been. And let me tell you, I don't go to clubs a lot, but I have a friend in town. So let me get to business. Uh, it's Self Care Sunday. It is May Masturbation Month. We only have a few more days, so definitely take time. I mean, I want you to extend it forever and we're gonna talk about that every time I'm on here or my blogs on Instagram. But that's something I want to talk about, the hot, sexy, not the very, very important topics. <sighs> so, shutting down the internet. Would you like the, sh the internet to fully shut down where you cannot Google anymore, where you can't email anymore, where you can't watch TV anymore? Well, I hope that never happens because we are so used to the love the excitement of this but a lot of people don't even know what it's like without the internet and i do but now that the internet's here i've been building my business for the last like you know online with craigslist striptease lap dance lessons blowjob workshops for everyday woman now everyday people to build confidence and learning your body and yourself and loving yourself and then you go to consent if you know who you are what you want and then you can you know, make a better choice. But if we're not learning sexual health, sex education, what is sex positive, being open, being honest, being real, being raw. And that's what I do every day with you guys, blogging, vlogging, and talking. And this will be sent to my Facebook and my YouTube. And the reason why I'm camming now is because that is more of an open outlet to be able to be a little more sexy. They want me to be G, maybe a little PG, but G on Instagram and it's not me. It's like, I'm born this way to be open and honest with you guys because I've been in this industry 20 years, over 20 years trying to learn about me and loving me and helping you guys too. So what I'm saying about shutting down the internet, we don't want that to happen, but censorship and free speech is removed every day with them removing my photos. The funny thing what I say is, that's why we need to shut down the whole internet because the moment you get off Instagram, you Google Pornhub, you Google a uh, cam girl or a porn star on, and she's right there naked having sex or whatever, and that's fine. I love anyone and everyone who decides to do things because they love and want to do it. And I love what I do. I was thinking about being a stripper when I was like, before 15, I was practicing the movie Flash Dance and Dirty Dancing and all the sexy movies, Basic Instinct, and I just knew this was me and meeting people and connecting and talking and walks of life. And so like with the whole consent and the censorship, what was my trade? Like what's my specialty? My specialty is helping people be their true authentic sexual self. But my specialty really was also helping people in the sex worker world, including sex coaches, strippers, sex workers, AKA prostitutes, if that's the only name you know, call girls, um, sex educators, FBSM, uh, BDSM, gynecologist, anything in the sex worker world. I'm not saying good gynecologist are, but even like lingerie stores are like losing business, especially on Instagram because of the hashtags that are removed. If we have a sexy like body part, one day they're gonna be like, that's what the world is turning into. I'm going back to politics. <sighs> if you want America to be sexy, finally, not sexy again, sexy finally, you need to open up your eyes and ears and be really honest because religion, power, control, and money are taking over the world. We have Trump and conservatives in office and these platforms will be removed. Uh, people don't believe it, but in the last year, my business has went down the drain for safety, for my sanity, for making me feel like I can help others because I know how to figure out different ways because I'm a marketing girl and it's been my life and we figure it out. But I wanna help people who are just getting into this business and being smart and safe and making the most money, uh, not being, you know, learning their own 
way. So someone just asked me why I put a lot of my sexy photos. One, I've been taking sexy photos forever and they're probably on many people's computers and many people's <laughs> websites that I don't know. And I always say, we don't know if there's a camera in our in our bathroom where I'm renting or a hotel room. I'm like, I'm gonna make money doing it. Walk around naked, have lake. And so why wouldn't I? I'm not doing anything bad. I'm being friendly. I'm opening my truth and my honest speaking word. And I'm hoping that that you open up about it, you know, and that you have to break down these barriers of not what religion. Oh, so funny. It's pouring rain now. Now I have to figure out a new outfit and Romeo's going to be like, quick walk. And I'm like, okay, quick walk. I like walking him a long time because it's my steps. But someone asked me and I told them, I said, would I, they asked me like, why you do it? And I'm like, this is me. I've been doing these naked kind of like photos, not like, hey, my legs are open, but I never done porn. I'm again, maybe there was a camera. Would I ever do it? I never say never. I never thought I would do camming and just because it's forever. And now that I'm on Instagram and live and YouTube, that's forever. And so we have to figure out what's more comfortable for you. And now I'm comfortable on Instagram. I do get nervous. It took me five minutes of procrastination and breathing, but I'm camming now to get more comfortable. It's videoing more, taking more pictures. So someone asked me about the photos and I said, would I ever be in Playboy? And I would, I would definitely be in Playboy. I probably would be in others. It depends on, and it's like, why is it not acceptable? Like, why is it okay that I go to the park and everyone's topless who was a male? And why can't I when I have probably too big of breast? And so, well, it doesn't support the real people. There, so this guy, John, just wrote, politics, power, and control is such a draconian way of being and doesn't support creativity, self-expression, community. That's what they don't want. That's what they're trying to do. And with Trump and the conservatives and the people who want the way back in the day is because they don't everything. It's the woman below the man. And it's happening every, every single day with this FOSTA SESTA bill that is destroying a lot of online sexual, anything sexual. And so if you think that Instagram's another way that people are gonna go and look for business, I am. People are gonna go on camming, I am. And so there's always gonna be a way, but we wanna be safe, we wanna be loved, and we wanna be cared about if we are a woman, if we are a sex worker, even if we're just anybody. And that's the thing, the world is getting divided. And when I hear people who are Trump fans and like loving what's happening with this girl world, you're thinking today, oh, I'm making money or I got a job, but there's no jobs, you're not gonna have credit. Those jobs are gonna be taken over. So you have to think about one year to five years to 10, unless you want, and healthcare, psh, Good luck with that. My health care would be $1,000 a month. And who has $1,000 a month for health care where people just won't pay it? And then they'll buy a beautiful car instead. But that's your thought process. Fuck, fuck that. But these people are brainwashing you. And I'm pretty much talking common sense. But you have to figure that out on your own. I'm making a Voting is Sexy campaign. And it's so funny. I'll be here until then. I mean, I'll go on a trip in two. But I don't think I want to be here 2020 on the day of elections because it's a really important time. And again, when I was 20, 25, I didn't care. I was drinking, having fun. But now I'm thinking about you guys and my, you know, cousins and nephews who are born and like living through this. And they don't know anything that's going on. But we really don't know what's happening. And there's always issues. But we've never had a clown in office who is trying to break down the barriers of what we've been working for. And if you think like abortion is going to be not like leaving us in 2020, it's going to be reversed if we have Trump in office 2020. And, you know, if you're not like, oh, thinking about getting pregnant, well, the average person who gets pregnant is not learning about birth control and how to get pregnant. And then they're like, ooh, let's do anal sex because on anal sex, you can't get pregnant. And then they don't wear condoms because they're not allowed to have condoms. And then they get HIV and wonder how because it's the easiest way to transmit diseases. But no one talks about this except me and sex positive people who are gonna say it straight up. Maybe I say it a little bit more straight to the point and I need to relax my brain to enjoy more, but I'm helping you guys open your brain up. So Twitter, Snapchat, Cam are the like three platforms that I should be marketing more on because they're more like open-minded and if I touch my breast like that, oh, blowjob, uh, me holding, I can't even take it, my holding the dildo in my hand and you wouldn't really know what it was, but it was. 
and I don't want to be on much longer because I say I try to do 21. So it's like right now, we always have a door slam. When I was a stripper, there was always like the vice coming in, trying to close us down. This is 20 plus years ago. They're still trying to close us down. They're trying to close every adoption center down. They've been doing a great job for the last 20 years, but because it's not illegal yet, it sounds like it's still like easy to get an abortion. It is very difficult if you don't live in a main city like LA, San Francisco, New York, Chicago, maybe San Diego. But overall, if you, in the last, it's very difficult. So they have this baby. They don't even know how to support themselves. And it's, it's all different walks of life and different stories. But the people who I know got abortions were the ones who were told about sex is what not to have and da 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 da. And they didn't learn about how to be safe about it. They got pregnant. They did it behind the parents' back. Now they're Trump fans. Now they're like against abortion. Now they have kids and a family and going to church every day. And they're not being truthful to themselves and to the others who were in the same shoes as them. And I'm just hoping that we open up. So voting is sexy, register to vote for 2020, do it now. And then next year you don't have to think about it. And then start thinking about what you want your life to be in one, one year, one, five years. And if you could see yourself surviving with women below men, anyone below men, because they are putting it in place and you don't even notice it as small steps. So, that was enough of talk of me. I can talk all different topics, but I'm trying to stay on track to uh, hopefully you'll listen to this again. It's going to be live 24 more hours. It's going to be on my YouTube. I wish it was this way, but I'm just trying to get my name and word out. So have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. It's May Masturbation Month. Take time for yourself. <sighs> Breathe, connect, learn, love yourself. You are sexy. You are confident. You are amazing. You are worth it. Take time today to be sexy because you are and uh, learn about all the stuff, the hot topics, the fast assessment bill and the negative and the positive and why it's affecting anyone who's a sex educator or sex anything uh, online and how to be safe about it. And if you're reading it like as a sex positive person, non judgmental, you're going to open up a lot more than you expect. So have a sexy day and I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. Follow me, subscribe to me share my information and I love you guys. Love you sexy ones.